now that Italy and Germany have been unified, other nationalities did not want to be dominated by other ethnicities. The Austrian Empire, again, had only 25% Germanic people. How could they rule over other nationalities? The Hungarians, Poles, Czechs, Slovaks, Croats, etc. Following the 1866 Austro-Prussian War, Hungary gained its, its internal independence, but were still part of a new Austro-Hungarian Empire, with Francis Joseph, an Austrian German, the leader of the both. The two ethnicities were now the majority of the population, but sizable minorities wanted independence. So the area in blue would merge with the area in gray around Budapest. So now you would have a more stable empire because at least 50% of the populace were either Austrian or Hungarian. Bohemia was inhabited by a Slavic people, the Czechs. The area was prosperous due to its deposits of iron and coal and became the hearth of industrialization of Austria and Hungary. A mountainous area of Bohemia, the Sudetenland, contained a majority of Germans who opposed the Czech culture and thought German was superior. Some Germans wanted to split Bohemia and become part of a greater Germany. However, this would be resisted until Hitler. The area to the north of Austria, you see Bohemia and Moravia, that would be part of today's Czech Republic. But around the edges, that sort of sea that goes around the German states to Silesia, that's a Germanic area that's called the Sudetenland. That will be important because many of those Germans would like to be part of Germany, and that would not happen until prior to World War II when Hitler seizes this area, the Sudetenland.